What's going on guys? So welcome back to the channel and you guys know I am uploading a lot more now because I don't have a job but that would change soon. I'm looking for another job right now but in the meantime just gonna chill for a bit and do whatever I have to do and uh, just enjoy the time off in the time being. But also in the last video when I was stating about all the downstairs hardware, keep in mind like I respect Frank, I respect his hustle, I respect everything that he does. But personally for me, I don't want to use the hardware because it just becomes annoying like later on to use in the future if I like want to change stuff out and then it just like sometimes like Alan like keys and stuff or whatever like doesn't work. Like for example, my friend's car at the just for fun me, his hood latch became loose and normally you just need a 10. But he couldn't close his hood because he had Allen keys or with the downstairs hardware and he couldn't even get it to like line up properly because nobody had Allen keys with them. We all had 10 wrenches and stuff. But luckily someone had Allen keys and then he was able to fix his hood latch at the meet so he could drive home. So just like times like that, like having Allen keys is, or you need Allen keys, this, yeah, not everybody has them with them, but now I do, um, just in case, because of that. But today I am actually going to be painting some wheels. I feel like this channel, a lot of videos are going to be like all over the place now, because like I have so much free time, and I'm actually like working on people's cars now. Um, I'm doing a lot more like side stuff, making money and everything like that. Like the K, don't worry, we're still going to be putting it into my brother's car. Over here, um, still going to do some stuff to this car. I actually did just take off my upper time belt cover and you guys don't know I am running uh, Toyota cam gears. I just took it off. Uh, I don't know. I was bored and my friend's over. Uh, also these ones. Oh, you guys notice the Sakajitian wheels. The other two pair of, uh, what is it? And the other pair of 195.50 Toyota R-Troop 8s are gone because I sold them all. And I'm keeping these. These are the 205.50s. Now, the reason why is because I'm actually putting them on this wheel setup or on my wheels. I'm getting rid of these 225.50s. I already got a buyer so don't hit me up. My friend's buying them for me and I'm gonna put all four of these on and we are gonna lower the car a little bit more, get rid of some of the camera that I'm running in the rear due to the tire size and not rubbing. So I'm gonna put the 205.50s on this car, on this wheel setup, make it look a lot more proper and correct. Um, I mean, honestly, like the 225.50s, they don't look bad. They're a bit too chunky, but I want to slightly lower the car. I'm going to put those two 550s on, get rid of these, so stay tuned for that. I ordered the tires already, I just have to wait for them to come in or a pair because I already have two right there. Also, I did get this hood. It is a carbon fiber hood. Tried polishing it out the, or buffing out all the oxidation using a polishing or a compound pad. And it is a VIS hood. Now, my friend uh, Lee, which is the MVP over at Honda, thank you very much for the hood. So I'm buffing it out, trying to make it look the best. For now, I only did that portion. I mean, it looks better, but it is still like oxidized. It's just been sitting in the sun and everything, and there's no cracks on there. Just like a small crack right there, just a slightly smaller one down there, but it's not too bad. I'm just gonna polish out this hood. And um, I even told Lee, I'm like, can I just sell it? He's like, yeah, go ahead. I was like, all right, I guess uh, I'll polish it out and probably sell it if anything. So these are 60 wells. I believe these are 15 by 8 plus 35 or 28. I, I'm not sure. Um, these are Javier's wheels. He was actually just here to pick up some stuff or pick up a uh, jack or whatever the stick is for the engine hoist. And he had these in his trunk. He was planning on repainting them flat black. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let me paint it. I'm bored. I have nothing else to do and I'd rather film you guys this on how to paint wheels Not the proper way a professional way just how I do it. We're not doing it professional or I'm not trying to do like a crazy good job because These are his track wheels at VTech Club There's a there was a lot of brake dust on it And then he just didn't wash it or brush it and then the brake dust rusted on the outer oops on the outer and the inner so we're gonna clean these as best as I can uh, sand it down a little bit, primer, and then just paint it flat black. And I'm gonna do the inner barrels flat black also to clean it all up, you know. And I did tell him, Do you want a crazy job or you just don't even care? You just want it to look good, just look good. So we're gonna do that, okay? So that's heads up. If this is not the right way to do it, then just find some other way. Um, I mean, I can't really show you guys how to do like anodized wheels. Also, on T37s, uh, I've noticed too. What people don't notice is on, so on all T37s, what you notice, like on mines, the lips are anodized, the faces are like a flat anodized bronze. 
Um, uh, yeah, so the, yeah, so I don't know. You can kind of see it. There's like two shades of anodized. And then the center caps, I did order center caps for these, and the center caps are anodized. Um, they're coming, I don't know when. But, yeah, so, a lot of people that get these power color, the whole wheel is bronze. Like, it does not have the anodized lip, which kind of, you could tell that it's been refinished. But on, like, the OG finish, you can see that the lips are slightly more bronze compared to, or the lips are more, like, glossier. But, what I'm going to do first for those... I am going to be using some of this. This is Orange Greaser by Chemical Guys. I think it's by Chemical, yeah, Chemical Guys. This thing is really, really strong. This takes off a lot of brake dust. And it does stain anodized wheels. I used it on these wheels and it stained it, but I did get rid of the stain. So keep in mind, if you guys are using this degreaser, it stains anodized wheels. Don't use this on anodized wheels, or I think don't use it on polish either. But I think like for that, his wheels, all the brake dust, this will work. So heads up. You guys want to know how this has been doing. I'm not really using this. Uh, I'm going to be waxing the car again. Or well, we're actually going to be using paint sealant. And I think in like two, three days. So I'll record that. And this is cool, but this thing, it stains my moldings. It stains any black pieces like hair and stuff. You kind of see it stained, but we're going to clean all that up when we uh, re-seal the car. Uh, and yeah, so let's get to cleaning them up and brushing them down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually rinse them and then spray this on and we're gonna scrub away. Playing with temptation, searching for salvation, can we find our way back? Finish drying them up and cleaning them. This is the best I can get them. But like I said, this is his track wheels. He does not care how perfect it is. So we're just gonna primer it, paint it flat black, and that's it. So I'll get more brake dust later on. But first, I need to go buy primer and flat black. I think I only have gloss black over there, and uh, yeah, we're not trying to do gloss black. Just gonna go buy some primer. I think one can of primer should be good. I'm gonna be primering the inside of the barrel and doing the outside of the face, of course. So we're gonna paint the inside of the barrels first and the outside of the face. So we can flip the wheel over and the face will be the last thing to paint. And it should be easy because it is flat black. Flat black is super easy to paint. Uh, and I kind of feel like I should use some high heat flat black paint on his wheels. Something like this, probably? Yeah, we'll see. So, time to make a trip to Home Depot, buy some paint, and be back. Back home, here's the paint. I picked up one can of primer and two cans of flat black. Cool thing about this is it's, it's his track wheels and they get beat on and all that. If it gets scratched or anything, all you have to do is grab one of these, spray it, and that's it. Just leave it, since there's just some beater wheels. Uh, and I'm gonna start by painting the inner barrels on one of them, and then flip around, paint the face. And do the same thing with this, uh, with the paint, the inner barrel first, then the face. Here's my setup. It's on a trash can with some cardboard. And time to just spray this. I don't think I need to show you guys. I'm just gonna primer it and then after that I just lay the paint on. Because we aren't doing it like professionally, so it's a straight up just like rattle can. Anyone can do it. Especially if it's just flat black. Uh, you don't have to, flat black it always looks good. Uh, just try not to get runs, runs you can see it, but flat black always looks good. You don't have to try hard to make it look good. There's a lot of overspray, so I probably won't film this. I don't want it to get on my lens or anything. I finished painting them and... <laughs> Holy crap, it looks like spoons. Well, it's so drying, I heard these spots, but it looks like the ashy spoon look where uh, when spoon goes they fade but damn that looks pretty damn nice and I did the inner barrels also you guys can't really see and I'm letting the other two dry over there but yeah nothing fancy like I said it's just a quick paint job uh oh crap it's dark but yeah it's nothing fancy just a quick paint job and yeah I'm gonna let them know that it'll be done by tomorrow cause it's got, you gotta let it dry in the sun right there and you can pick it up and put tires on. 
And I cannot wait to put these tires on my car. Oh man, it's gonna go back to being a regular tired car, not a balloon tire status. Cause yeah, my tires are balloon tires. Balloon, they look like balloons. But yeah, man. Now let's see. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen right now. Lee's coming by. Uh, I'm giving some stuff, and I need a new uh, upper time belt cover because I did cut it from the tensioner. That was right there. But the K2 tensioner did snap. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Damn, boy. Looks so cool. Alright, so I think that's the end of this video. Sorry if it's a short one, but yeah. Peace out, guys. Don't listen to others. Just keep building and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Peace.